Like and subscribe on the way in the door. My people, I hope you all are having a fantastic day today. Well, I'm sure most of you have heard by now that the Lakers are planning on raising a championship banner for the in-season tournament winners. Yeah, uh, well, so first of all, let, let me give my thoughts on this right quick. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed in the Lakers. I'm disappointed in the Lakers that they would actually raise that banner. You know, that that is for a franchise with such a rich legacy of winning for them to want to raise this second place trophy banner, it's a little bit of a disappointment, you know. And I, I must say again, I, I feel really sorry for all you uh, true diehard Laker fans out there, you know. Uh, again, my condolences to you <laughs> for having to have the deer on your team. But, you know, uh, so... A couple of people have come out and expressed their true feelings about this. Uh, one of them is Coach George Carl. And, uh, hey, fanboys, pay attention to this because it's not just me. <laughs> don't, don't, don't just put this all on me. It's not just me. So uh, this is fadeawayworld.net. Says big news came out of Los Angeles on Monday night when it was reported that the Lakers would be raising a championship banner for the end season tournament. It drew a wide range of reactions from the basketball world, with former NBA head coach George Carl taking a wild shot at the Lakers for it. And George Carl says, <laughs> I guess he tweeted this. Says the bubble banner plus the end season banner stitched together would be like one whole banner. <laughs> Round of applause for George Carl. I agree. I think. Uh, I don't know. I, I might slightly disagree. I might think the bubble banner plus the end season banner should make half a banner. I don't have to think about that. Uh, another person who uh, gave their honest opinion, and I must admit I was uh, pretty surprised by this person, uh, former NFL player who is currently uh, on the show with Skip Bayless and Keyshawn Johnson, uh, Richard Sherman. I, I think that's his name, right? Richard Sherman. He actually had a similar viewpoint, which really shocked me because, you know, Richard Sherman, to me, he is very much part of the CFL. For those of you who don't know, that is a uh, capping for LeBron. <laughs> he is very much a part of the CFL. But what he said was... Uh, you know, they were going back and forth, him and Keyshawn, talking about... You know, of course, Keyshawn is a is a hardcore capper for LeBron. And uh, he's like, yeah, of course they should hang up the banner. And, you know, it's a championship banner. And, and Richard Sherman was like, champion of what? <laughs> Ch champion of what? And then Richard Sherman kind of had the same feelings that I had. It's like, the Lakers... Being a franchise with such a rich legacy of winning, why would you hang this this banner up, you know, as if it's in the same realm as a championship banner? You know, it's the same way that you only uh, retire the jerseys of Hall of Famers. Richard Sherman said this. So, yeah, I was pleasantly surprised to see Richard Sherman take that stance. But again... I agree with this. You know, to me, it makes no sense for the Lakers to be hanging up this this banner, you know, for, uh, first of all, you know, it's the first one. And again, it seems like most people, most people, including players, didn't really know 
what this in-season tournament was all about. You know, you would see interviews with players who still really didn't totally get this in-season tournament. And, you know, and as a basketball, uh, I hate to call myself a fan because I'm really not a fan of the current NBA as it is, but <laughs> as a former hardcore basketball fan, you know, I, I really still don't even understand except for them trying to make some extra money, you know, the significance of this in-season tournament or even how it worked fully. You know, it was like one minute they're just playing games and the next minute I hear, oh, well, the Lakers are in the finals now. It's like, okay, I, where did that come from? But, uh, yeah, this whole embracing this, this in-season tournament is like, again, it, it means nothing for your legacy. And like Richard Sherman said, champions of what? Fanboys, that's a question for you. Champions of what? What is the significance of this tournament except for, you know, to give you guys some more pipe dreams, you know, to give you guys some more, uh, <laughs> some more fake ammunition, to, to give you guys some more blanks for your gun, you know, to try to prop up your king. I, I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm gonna say this one more time. Fanboys, if you guys are really celebrating this, it, it, it's, it's no hope for you guys. Like, I, I, I really, you know, it, it is truly no hope for you guys. If you guys are celebrating this, like you guys are embracing scammer culture, you guys are embracing the culture of you don't have to work hard to get what you want. You guys are embracing the culture of cheating and shortcuts and uh, self-praise, even though you haven't done the work to back up the praise. You guys should really be ashamed of yourself. I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and say it. You should be ashamed of yourself. If you some of these fanboys out here on Facebook uh, propping this stuff up, I mean, you, you, you really just showing your true colors. You know. But uh, anyway... <laughs> This short video, you know, I, I like I said, I just thought it was was interesting, especially that Richard Sherman took that stance, and uh, and it was good to see George Carl, you know, express his true feelings about this. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. You all have a truly fantastic day, and uh, well, you know, let let me think of let me know what you think about the uh, Lakers hanging this. <laughs> Banner up <laughs> Hanging this in-season tournament Championship in quotation marks Banner up let, let me know what you think about that Do you think that That is an appropriate thing um, Or not But anyway Let me know what you think in the comments You all have a truly fantastic day And I will see you next time Alright